Here to the west of the launch site is the pavement area that I've been talking about. And they're doing a bunch of construction here. This area here uh, is about the, the width of it, left and right. It's about that much space. Uh, some close-ups. We can see a bunch of uh, stakes which mark the perimeter, but they, that black area there uh, is kind of for, I think, for controlling the movement of the dirt and soil when it rains, etc. Anytime you do a large area of groundwork, you got to have that black area there. Starship 24 here on the left. So this is just to the west of the Starship. Again, the, the beach is to the east or the Gulf of Mexico. So we're on the west side of the Starbase uh, South Texas launch site here. And I believe this could be uh, for a new pad. Uh, someone mentioned maybe a pad C. Now we have uh, pad A, suborbital pad A. We got the pad B where the Starship is currently uh, on. And maybe this would be uh, for a new area. Uh, they're definitely flattening it out. Uh, we can see them putting down that big stone uh, that they use for many of the roads around here so uh, i've been wanting to get this shot for uh about two weeks now and uh, i just pulled out the camera and we got it We're getting it right now so so this is the suborbital tank farm here that's the launch complex over there uh, so that's the orbital pad over there where the booster gets put and uh, over here is the pads A and B, um, and pad C is the thinking. August uh, 21st, 2022, Paul S. Momakis with Ocean Camera Space Corp.